Welcome back. Obviously, basketball a focus for you, but you don't let the kids slide on academics. When you recruit your players, you want them to be good students. A top 10 ranking for GPA in Division I women's basketball, and you've got to be very proud of that. I am. I, they really understand what it means to be a student athlete, and we recruit pretty hard to make sure we have uh, kids in the program that have priorities and academics comes first. And uh, I think Taylor's a perfect example of somebody who came here, again, like Nakia, wanted to take advantage of her opportunity, and she's probably studies more than any kid we've ever had wow. in the program. She's, uh, she brings in her study sheet, so she sometimes is studying while she's stretching or before practice starts. And she's somebody who has, you know, really kind of stresses about it and sets really high expectations for herself, which is what fits into our program because we have high expectations for our student athletes and, and for our team GPA every year, obviously. Here is our Coca-Cola top scholar, the sophomore Taylor Clark. Yeah, we have a couple traffic lights, but it's not its not anything like Hartford at all. It's just small. It's all farm. It's all, there's like nothing there actually. The small town girl from Northeast Pennsylvania is living large in Connecticut. Her musical tastes do catch her some regular flack from her teammates. We have to keep our country music to the minimum. But otherwise, she's living a dream and working hard to be the best player and scholar she can be. I never really imagined being able to play in college, like being from such a small town. Like no one really, no one, it's not even on a map, like no one knows where it is. So Jen Rosati, like knowing who I am and really wanting me to come here, it's just incredible. So I love it. I didn't study that much in high school, it just came, it was like easy for me, so I didn't really open my books, like I just didn't really care, but that, I'm, that's what I hate now, but I really could have applied myself in high school and done better, but now it just, because I care about what I'm learning about, I actually apply myself, so my grades are a lot better than they were in high school. But it, Was it just a switch going on, or all of a sudden <laughs> your mind was invigorated by the studies, and what happened here? Um, I don't know, I think because now it's like, I need, I need the grades because I can get kicked out of my program if I don't have the grades, so I think just like them telling me that there's a chance that I can't do what I want to do, it just like really made me like wake up and just be like, okay, you really have to study, you really have to apply yourself, this is something you care about, this is your future, like you have to do it. As a double major with plans to become a physical therapist, Taylor finds herself studying a lot more these days. Honestly, my teammates make fun of me because I hibernate in my room most of the time. I really do like sit in my room and study and you really have to like plan out when's the test, when do you have practice, when do you have a game, when can you fit in time to make a study guide, to sit down and study. It's really like preparation for a test before the test actually approaches. So I know I always make like long study guides so then if I'm on the road I don't have to look stuff up. It's just right there and I can just study on the bus or like not have as many books. It's all right there and it's not as crazy when you sit down and actually try to do it. So it's just making time out of your day after practice just a little bit every day so you can not get so far behind like you're going to get behind in class but just like trying to carve out a little portion of your day to try to get some work done. Taylor says she still finds time to have a social life at Hartford and while the intense studying is her calling card that ultimately fits in just fine with the expectations every Hawks player faces under Coach Rosati. Yeah, they want well-rounded players. They don't want you to just come in here and be good at basketball. Like, we're, we were seventh in the country last year for our team GPA. We're not just going to be good at basketball. She wants you to be a well-rounded student. She wants you to be well-rounded basketball. She doesn't want to send you off in the world, like, knowing that you didn't perform in high, in high school or college. Like, she wants you to be educated, well-rounded. So our coaches want you to succeed. So if you're not succeeding in the classroom or in basketball, they're always going to be there to help you. And the girls are like the most supportive family that you could have.